Hey, so uh, Coach Matt, what do you think about your competition over there, their strategy that they're taking right now? I like it. That's typical of Scott. You know, he he's doing, he's, he's trying to do a therapy session with all of this since he's a psychologist, psychiatrist, what is he? Yeah, he's a doctor, whatever that is. He's smart, but he's taking a nap with his students. Where we're gonna start working hard. See, see, we're the juggernauts. Jackson's juggernauts. All right, well, good luck to you. Destruction, it's coming. So I need each coach to send one person who will partake in the strength challenge. Okay, the strength challenge is who can do the most push-ups. How many did I do? 66. There you go. What was that? 66. 66. Oh. How many? How many? How many? 55. Return, return back to your 55. team. Uh, <laughs> the handicap. The winning team gets to choose a team for the last 15 minutes of the practice. They will have to practice with one hand and one hand in their belt. What team do you choose? Big Matt. Yeah! You guys have a 15 minute handicap. How do you feel? How do you feel about this handicap? It's that great. They gave you? It's perfect because it's actually good training for me. Working on my Sainagi. Forget about this hand. Let's put it in here. And we'll really work on getting in. So, really, it's a benefit to us. So, see, that's how dumb this is. We're excited. So, uh, how do you feel about the team that you're on? I feel really good about it, actually. We got a lot of good players. I finished awesome. It's the second time in a row I've been on Scott's team. Are you excited about that? Yeah. So uh, how do you feel about the team that you're on? I like the team I'm on. I think it's really good. Um, do you think you're on the strongest team? No. <laughs> Alright, so how do you feel about the team that you're on? I feel pretty good about it. I mean, that's really good all around, so... So the juggernaut Jacksons are now handicapped where they could only use one hand for the next 15 minutes. Let's go check out how uh, Matt is utilizing this. If used the right way, this handicap can actually be a strength. Uh, you could work on one-handed pulls to really strengthen that arm. Or you could also work on one-handed techniques in case you get injured in a competition and you're only down to one hand. Every what you call me count. No. Everyone's got to count. Come on, let's go. So Coach Matt, how are you utilizing this handicap uh, to make it a strength? Well, uh, I just heard you say it and it's so true. A lot of times you fight, a lot of times you get in a good grip or whatever, you may only have one hand. So we all have to be able to throw, which is one hand on the geek. So by taking this away, this is actually a great training tool that we should actually use in our class. So I'm pretty excited about it. You got it, you got it, Alright, so this is week two of the throw and uh, just a quick summary of how the coaches are doing. Um, we have, uh, it looks like Matt came in with a clear game plan here. He's uh, been working on uh, Cianagi for um, the last couple of weeks. Um, Scott seems to be running just a normal class as we would on any other day, having uh, them do Nick Mazza and then playing on the top. Um, 
Sammy, this is her second week in a row to be using the crash pads for the majority of the time. Um, whereas Ben and Bran are working individually with each person. And I still quite haven't figured out what Sarah's um, doing. Um, it looks like she's teaching each, uh, teaching everybody a different technique that they uh, don't know. Um, our first challenge today is a speed challenge. We'll do speed challenge. So coaches, you have a couple seconds to pick who you want to send for the speed yeah. challenge. Let's go, Jake. Go, Jake, go! Push him! Push Matthews! Oh, bye, bye, bye. Hey, you beat a bunch of kids, are you happy? <laughs> the handicap for the speed challenge is the Raptors get to pick a team where for 15 minutes they could only work Nawaza. Is there a reason you picked Sammy to yes. have this handicap? Because her grail work sucks. She needs to, she needs to work. <laughs> Do you think uh, he picked you for a reason versus all the other coaches? I'm not good at groundwork, but I'll make it work. I'll be sure to beat all these kids on ground. <laughs> okay. Do you feel like you're on the strongest team? Yeah. Who do you think is your toughest competition? Definitely, definitely Matt's team. Do you feel like you're on the best team? Mm, a little. Yeah. Uh, what do you think you can learn? Mm, like a lot of good throws and stuff. You think you're on the best team? Definitely. Uh, what do you think you could learn in these five weeks? Um, some more ground moves. Uh, who do you think is your toughest competition? Carter. Carter on Scott's team. Who do you think is your toughest competition? Carter. Carter on Scott's team. You think Scott's whole team is your team's toughest competition? No. All right, so challenge number two for today is the flexibility challenge. Team that has to practice the last 15 minutes without the guitar. All right, we got it. All right, what is the team you pick? We penalize ourselves. What? You guys choose to penalize no. yourself. No. Okay, so is is this a attack? Why are you choosing to do this? What? We want to work without our guitar. You want to work? You no, feel no. like you could? Uh, you could yeah. improve. Yeah. Are you worried that if? Uh, they are able to practice without their detox, it gives them it might give them an advantage, an advantage really. <laughs> okay. And All we right. don't want to see Matthew with it. Matt with a turn off. Everybody does. <laughs> Alright. Matt, how do you feel about Scott choosing to penalize himself? It doesn't surprise me. It doesn't. No, he you know he's a doctor of what? I, I, who even knows is his degree is even real. No, I mean he, he's just not real smart. That whole team's not smart. I mean, my son's on the team, he's not the brightest. I mean, he's a good judo player, but you know, I mean, it's just, it's just typical. It's typical. <laughs> Taryn, how do you feel about the team that you're on? Okay. Okay. Uh, do you think you're on the strongest team? Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty good. Do you uh, feel like you're on the strongest team? Yeah. Good. Do you think it's the strongest team? Yeah. Who do you think is, uh, your guys' strongest competition. <laughs> Nobody? You guys are just better than everybody? <laughs> All right, this week three of the throw. We have two challenges today. The first challenge today is a balance challenge. So you guys decide who you're going to send out to the black. A balance challenge. Okay. Oh, yes, you won. If you don't pick that one, you know it. 
Alright. You guys are going to stand on one leg, but close your eyes. Two, one, go. Choose a team that will have to go for 10 minutes blindfolded. Which team did you pick? Scott. Yeah! Scott! You guys, the Raptors have the handicap. What was the uh, thinking of choosing Scott to have this handicap? I just like to pick on Scott because he's got too many players and too cocky and we are so under whatever. We don't have enough, but we won. Yay! I'm so excited! <laughs> uh, Sammy, how do, you, how do you feel about being one of only two teams left that have not won a challenge yet? We got screwed out of the last challenge because all the other judges said that she fell, but this guy right here said she won it. Well, I, I said it was a technicality. I said okay. It could have impacted her falling or not. No, they said she was falling before you said okay. So you the rest of the not. Well, we still have one more challenge today, and we have Are you gonna us one that? more challenge. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm <laughs> not. What do you think about uh, Scott getting this guy. handicap? It's the blind. Yeah, it's the blind leading the blind. I mean, it's it's so fitting. This I can't wait to see them fight. I mean, look at him. Look, he's sneezing. He can't see. He's blind. Look, he's wearing glasses. He knows nothing. He will be crushed by the juggernaut. This challenge is a knowledge challenge. Oh Question number one. Cole, write down a leg throw. A leg throw. Question number one. Write down a leg throw. Uchi Wasada. Leg throw. The winning team, or the winning person, is Kate. The handicap that the juggernauts get to choose the team for the first 15 minutes of next week because we're out of time. You get to pick a throw and they could only work on that one throw for 15 minutes. Are you serious? Any throw. Any throw? Uh, what do you think you can learn? What are you learning? Um, like how to do throws, pins, and pins and stuff and ground work, some ground work. Uh, what have you learned so far? Uh, different kinds of throws. Different throws? Um, what have you learned? Do need on and stretch it. Cool. Well, I, l I learned a bunch of throws and to try to remember the names because I mainly don't focus on the name. I mainly focus on the throw. So you've learned a lot of different throws? Yep. Okay. Who do you think is the next strongest team? I don't know. Jack and Jug Maps look real wimpy this year. Oh uh, yeah? No, maybe Jack can do Okay. Uh, what have you learned so far? Um, the foot sweeps and we've been walking on our ground and our foot sweeps. What uh, what have you learned so far? Um, we've, I've learned about Sumiatosh and how to perfect it. And that's actually become one of my favorite throws. Um, uh, 
of Sugozaki. Okay, cool. This is the last challenge, you have to send the person who has not competed in the challenge yet. Take our best for last. All right, painted your your specialty. All right, the competition, the challenge is the coach will raise the person and they will hang as long as they can from the two by four. Ready? Go! Brody's down. Good job. Hey, oh, that was a great job. So this is a surprise challenge that we just have in store for our, our coaches. It's a full team challenge, including the coach. And now, as you see them now, this is the finishing position that your team has to be in at the end of the challenge in order to win. This is the position you have to be in. Everybody sitting in Indian style with the coach sitting on the punching bag. Which team would you like to penalize? Uh, Scott, what was your uh, reasoning in penalizing Ben's team? They're just cocky. Are they cocky? Yeah, they're big and cocky. You think they they thought they were going to win the race they really did. easy? Yeah. Yeah, Jared especially. He had a look in his eye. So you chose to penalize them. Right. Okay. It looks like your team was in the winning position, oh, we were winning. and then there was a crash that happened between one of your players and one of Sarah's players. Do you think that was a deliberate action? Oh, no doubt. No doubt. Sarah, she's renowned for being one of the dirtiest players Judo's ever seen. And if she has to cheat to win, she'll do it. So I have no doubt that there's instructions given before Sailor went out and took out the leader. So, not real happy. We'll get there. It's all right. That's Michael, my star keeper. <laughs> Sage, do you feel like you're on the strongest team? Mm, yes, in some ways. Who do you think is the next strongest team? Mm, either Scott or Scott. Scott. Uh, what have you learned so far? Our coach hasn't teached us very much. They didn't, haven't teached us anything. Anything new? Are you just working on stuff you already know? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so next week is the last week of the throw. We will be having our tournament for the throw to decide which team will be the champion of the throw to. Coaches, you guys will have around five minutes to warm up your team or come up with any game plan that you need to while I bracket the divisions. Okay, so we're having a uh, a meet of five, a duel of five teams right now. One team 
we'll have a bye. Two teams will verse each other and the other two will verse each other and we'll continue until all teams have faced each other. The team with the most points at the end is your throw champion. We do have one more challenge uh, to have today, and uh, that challenge is a coach's challenge. So if I could have all the coaches yeah, coach. come to the black, hey, the uh, Harai or Uchimada setting. The one, two. Everybody has to do that, Uchikomi. On the beat. Two. 45. 45. 45 is the number to beat. Hello! Yes! Three! Time! 45? Yes! 44. We have a time! 10 seconds. Three! <laughs> Jackson Juggernauts, the prize is you guys what? receive the first buy. So you get to watch the rest of the competition. Your team yeah. received the first buy. The Jackson Juggernauts and the Sammy Slam Slammers in the final. This is to determine who's the championship of the throw to. Here we go. All right, this round, this is the deciding factor of who's gonna be the championship of the throw. Right now, the teams are tied. The winner of this match, their team will be the winner. So Sammy, your team ended up winning uh, the throw. You guys are the champions. How does it feel? It feels really awesome because we definitely were as prepared as the other teams. I came into the the throw with no game plan, kind of just won it, but I guess it worked. 
All right, so do you guys feel like you put um, enough hard work to take it, you guys, or do you think your players just showed up on game day when it counted? We definitely put in hard work, and I guess just I gave them a speech, told them just to leave everything out on the mat, and that's what they did. Do you think you guys will be uh, be able to win back-to-back -back championships when the throw comes again? Yeah, definitely. I'm coaching.